All right, let's go. So uh, welcome everyone to the June, July 22nd, I almost said June 22nd, Zoom social hour. Uh, here's how. Um, this week, you know, uh, I want to do some introductions. As always, we do have some new people here. Um, people might not know me because I see some new people and I do have other newbies on the line as well. Uh, so very excited to keep this, you know, this we'll Zoom chat going. Um, we will be doing two we truths and not the word lie. Oh. I don't like the word lie. So two truths and a false with this uh, program today in our introduction. So I, I'm Matt um, and it's up to you guys to figure out which one's a lie. So I work for the Office of Aging. Um, I live in Lapeer, New York, and I have an 18-year-old daughter. Here comes the lie. <laughs> Which one's the lie, guys? <laughs> scared him and froze him. Which one's a lie, do you think? Well, we didn't get your last one. Okay, I have an 18-year-old daughter. Wrong. The lie. <laughs> your daughter's the not that old yet. Here with me. Would know that um, my daughter is 10 and she kind of jumped in on a couple of the chats as I was working from home. So, yes, that was my lie. Let's go with uh, Bonnie Smith. Oh, I can't do that. I can't think of nothing. <laughs> if you want I'm so pass. honest, I can't think of a lie. <laughs> oh, that's hard to believe. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I know you, Bonnie. <laughs> I know you, Bonnie. <laughs> well, we like to vacation in Myrtle Beach. Um, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful and nice in the spring. Um, I like to go to Washington State. And I have a 20 year old grandson. Hmm. My grandson's wrong. <laughs> <All right. Yeah. laughs> You're right. I don't think you like Washington State. I don't think you've been. I don't have a 20 year old grandson. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, Tom got that that's quickly. That's lie, huh? Yeah, that's a lie. So, um, Nancy. Yeah, I'm here. Yep. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> okay. You can, you can quickly say pass. Is there anyone else that wants to jump in and ready? Yeah, I am. All right, Tom. Um, let's see. I'm married. <clears throat> I have three children, six grandchildren, and three great-grandchildren. Um, when the Kennedys were in the office, my cousin was a, a photographer from the Navy. So I got to see a lot of the videos of uh, John Jr. and Caroline when they were kids in the White House. And in, and in 1965, uh, when I was in college, the uh, Little League World Series put out a uh, request for volunteers. So I volunteered at the 1965 Little League World Series. That's a lie. You're right. Oh, the World Series. <laughs> I was only there. I didn't volunteer. <laughs> so uh, with me today, too, if we just want to come in right here. Um, this is what we're going to do. I got Cindy Van Patten Young. Hello, everybody. And uh, Good morning. Hello. She's here. Um, so that's why, Hello. you know, I quickly threw my mask back on. <laughs> respecting our social dis distancing and mask laws. So um, we just heard from uh, Mr. Williams on his two truths and a lie. Anyone else want to go next? She'll unfreeze it. If not, I'll pick you. <laughs> right. How about Mr. Bob Swarm, one of our newbies today? Okay, I came in second in the Bridge, Binghamton Bridge Marathon. I was a great grandmother. I mean, I was a grandmother at 39. And 
I have done everything I'm supposed to do for the coronavirus. <laughs> That's mm, the that's lie. lie. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you ever ran a marathon. <laughs> I did. I I did run the marathon, but I wasn't second for sure. <laughs> All right. So, um, how about now uh, we go with Bob Swarm? Yeah, my name is Bob Swarm. I'm married. My wife, Joe. Uh, as Alzheimer's, and uh, I live about two and a half miles north of Marathon on Route 11 in the country. It's beautiful here. Uh, let's see, for my three things, I'll say I play the guitar, I am in the Country Music Hall of Fame, <laughs> and I used to ride a motorcycle. Oh boy. It's the motorcycle, isn't it, Bob? That's the lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard of it. <laughs> well, one interesting thing with Mr. Swarm, I actually knew him from my previous job. Him and his wife were great. They uh, have done Santa and Mr. or Mr. and Mrs. Claus <laughs> throughout the years. So um, he's been at a couple of my uh, breakfasts when I worked for the YMCA. So, Bob, thanks for joining us today. Hey. Um, I was going to grab Mike Wells, but he disappeared. So, <laughs> let's go with John Snowberger. Oh, you'll never guess this one. <laughs> I traveled one day to the bank three times <laughs> by my mistake. the first one <laughs> and then I talked to some of my family this week and watched a couple videos of my great grandchildren and then the third one would be my car broke down twice this week Ugh. I hope it's the third one that's a lie yeah I hope so it has to be because he doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the bank three times. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> or, I mean, that is right. I, I knew Thank you. Person. <laughs> the car yeah. broke down. So you if you can either use the laptop, use your Zoom pad. Okay. Oh, my God. Was it the, the person. car? Broke yes. Down? That that was the lie. Then you can get that was food. the lie, yeah. To the front. Okay. Excellent. Um, so, Mike Wells, how about you, sir? I lost it. There he is. We, we hear you. He's muted right now. No. So, as he's muted, I'm going to keep moving on. How about we go to Diane? Good morning, everyone. Um, let's see. I have six grandchildren. Uh, I've traveled a lot and been to London. And um, I'm a nurse. I don't think you've been to London. <laughs> London's a lie. Uh, I don't so, think so. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been to London. I went to London in 2000. And you must have lie is six grandchildren's lie. You're right. I have five grandchildren. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, how about Mary Lee? Oh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, okay, mine, I speak fluent Italian. I'm a retired high school teacher. And I've been a thousand feet below ground. Mm -mm. Wow. A thousand feet below ground. You're right. <laughs> in Denver. And several years ago, we went to the Molly Kathleen Gold Mine in Cripple Creek. So. 
So that's, that's, that's true. That's true. Excellent. Bob Tucker? Speaks Italian fluently. What was your first one, Mary Lee? Oh. I speak fluent Italian. That's the lie. I grew up in the South End. That's the lie. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. I jumped in a little too early. Um, Bob Tucker? I'm having trouble with the audio. I can barely hear anybody. Yeah, some, what I found with audio when you can barely hear people um, is that, believe it or not, a pair of headphones. Uh, I have the headphones right here. I'm hooked up to a laptop. And I need the headphones to hear everybody. Yeah, that part and the trouble with headphones is I wear hearing aids too. Oh, <laughs> you have to have one of the bigger ones. <laughs> You'll look like an astronaut, huh? I'll do it with you, Bob. It's <laughs> nothing to be afraid about. <clears throat> but do you want to try the two truths and a lie? Also, I mean. <laughs> Can't hear you, I don't. Yeah. And he may have froze too. All right, how about Mr. Newell? Y'all. Fun. I, I'm freezing I, up. I, I got Bob Tucker. I got I okay. Yeah, I think, you know, just <laughs> what? the internet connections and whatnot, just going through. I've seen a couple more people move, but I see a lot of people kind of you're, just. You're freezing up, through. man. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll work anything. through this. Must be a slow <laughs> internet day in Portland. Who's that man? I never saw him before. That's Chris Newell. He's on. A, he's a legislator. He's a oh. nice one. He's a nice legislator. You've got that right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes one of your truths, Chris. You want to continue? Okay, uh, let's see. I am a fantastic cook. Uh, I'm going to be a future grandfather for the first time, and I'm a ski instructor. Oh, boy. I don't, I don't think you're a good cook. <laughs> now I have trouble boiling water. There you go. Tom, you're so alert this morning, man. Nancy Sickman hasn't gone, Matt. All right, Nancy Sickman, your turn. Okay, my first one was, uh, I li I, one time in my, in my uh, life, I lived in Texas. Um, I used to play the organ and the piano, mm -hmm. and I swam the length of Derider Lake. Swimming. Swimming is a lie. Swimming? Yeah, I, did, I didn't swim the length of it, but I did swim the width of Dryder Lake. Yeah, I did that. Yep. Let us <laughs> All right. Um, and it looks like Mike Walls is still having some issues with, you know, connecting and some audio. So um, we're going to go to Bonnie and Roger. Good. Oh, well, all truth. I mean, oh. <laughs> go you ahead, Brad. Uh, I, I've, uh, I've ridden a motorcycle to the New England States. I'm one of 14 kids and born and raised in Cortland. One of 14 kids is a lie. Yeah. 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 13. 13. Thirteen. <laughs> and we like, had twins, and we stopped at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. um, so, road and mortar. Did road I miss mortar. anybody? I want to make sure everyone can jump in, and when Mike Wells can come on, then uh, we'll we'll definitely get him involved. So. You know, that, that's what I want to try. And obviously, he's having some computer issues. Uh, and just so everyone knows, if 
anyone is having any technical difficulties or you have some friends that want to work on this Zoom, but they don't know how to set it up, I will work with them individually. You know, I have helped uh, a, a couple different people to jump in and on to get Zoom working correctly, you know, from the link start to connecting to audio. Um, I know with Bob Tucker, I was able to, and sorry, I'm using you as an example here, Bob, but I was on, I was on my work phone, talking to him as for, as I could see him, so we could connect the audio. So again, anyone that is having issues, I, I will definitely, you know, outside of this meeting, try to help you just to keep the meeting going. Oh, and here comes Mike again. Let's see, Mike, are you with us? Let's see you, bro. What? Are you with us, Mike? I am here. All right, you're up, sir. Two truths and a falsehood. Anna. <laughs> it's a beautiful coat rack. Is okay, can you can yep. you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Can you hear us, sir? Yep. Yeah, I can hear you now. I had a little trouble. Um, you want true false? Yep. I was once married to Dick Stott's wife. I went to school in West Virginia, and I fought in the Vietnam War. Dick Stott's <laughs> wife. <laughs> what? Dick Stott's wife is a lie. <laughs> Actually, that's not a lie. I was married really? to Linda. Oh! <laughs> wow! Interesting. So... What were the other two? <laughs> I went to school in West Virginia, and I fought in Vietnam. West Virginia is a lie. No, nope, West Virginia is not oh, a lie. So was... Then you didn't go in the war then. you were. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> good, good thinking, Bonnie. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they for. <laughs> All right. So now that we got everyone hmm. through, did, now did I miss anyone? I was kind of hovering over everyone's little uh, pictures here as I was going Again. through. I'm Nancy. So um, we'll continue on with the meeting. Um, I want to do a plug here for the agency. So I am gonna share my screen right here for our next uh, high cap event coming up. Okay. We're all gone. Yep, what I did is I took over. So you'll be seeing the screen that I have right here, either very small on your phones or, oh, okay. you know, nice size on a PC. But um, we are gonna he be doing- to put on Yosemite. Yep, we're, we're gonna, we're getting there too. Um, <laughs> But, uh, it's down in my little corner where my people. Yep, yeah, <laughs> exactly, buddy. So our our high cap staff is going to be hosting their own Zoom chat because you know we have this option here. Um, that you know if anyone's struggling to afford your healthcare costs, our coordinator uh, Cindy Van Patten Young is going to lead a presentation with a specialist Sarah Hazard, and they're going to potentially have like four different state options between a Medicare savings program, Medicaid, extra help, and EPIC on how we could potentially lower your health insurance costs here. So if anyone is interested or you can help us spread the word, um, this uh, event is on our Facebook right now. So let us know. Um, and then, you know, further down the line, August 10th, we're going to be doing some Medicare basics with a Medicare education consultant from uh, the New York City Department, uh, yeah, Office of Aging. So, uh, Will you be oh, sending us the link for that, Matt? We, we can. Just tell me if you're interested in either one of these programs, and uh, I'll make sure we get you the link set up, okay? Keep you know, we up. really want to make sure everyone is... Yeah, you know, we, we can help save money with, you know, your yeah. insurances for sure. Okay, there's my plug for the agency. Uh, I'm going to stop this yeah. share. Okay. Matt, 
Whoops, we Matt lost Matt there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Man, I'm, there he is. So okay. This is why I have a backup plan. Will you send us a link for that, Matt? Yeah, absolutely. 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 For that I'll Zoom meeting? It. Yep, I'll, I'll, I'll send it out to, to everyone, everyone on the Zoom, Zoom list, list if everyone's okay, okay with that. that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, trying to get to catch, catch people, people as they're coming. coming. My, My computer, computer may have froze a little bit. So this Yosemite thing might be an interesting thing. But I'm going to try that right now. Okay. Let's see what we can do. I want to. Here. Bear with me, I'm just getting this set up a little bit more. And of course it's gonna be funny for me. <laughs> Nothing's gonna be perfect, you know. I'm probably working the computer, you know, a little too hard as well. All right, here we go. Um, Bonnie did help me earlier. So here we go, guys. Welcome to Yellowstone. To Yellowstone, we've got you covered with a list of our top 10 favorite things to see and do. I'm Jack Stewart. And I'm Colton Smith. We're the hosts of Rock the Park on ABC, and together we've explored more than 100 yeah. parks around the world. And Yellowstone is I, easily I'm one of our favorites. So here we go. Top top 10. 15 minutes. Okay. Gosh, I love coming to this place. Yellowstone is huge. It's got the largest collection of geysers and hot springs in the world. It's got some of the most elusive wildlife, the grizzly bear, wolves, bison, you name it, we have it here in Yellowstone. If you're heading to Yellowstone and you're up for a wet and wild adventure, check out whitewater rafting on the Yellowstone River. It's not permitted in the park, but you can put in upriver from the north entrance, and it's perfect for families. The nice thing about this trip is it's not oh, all wow. rapids the whole time. We're going to have some calm sections like this where we can really look out and spot some wildlife. Hey, wildlife. Oh, wow, wow, wow. You see them? Oh, yeah, we got the right up there, the yeah. antelope. Right up there. Oh, there's look a whole herd of them. Those are pronghorn, the fastest land animals in North America. And just above us, an osprey. Animals constantly migrate in and out of Yellowstone, so you will have plenty of viewing opportunities even before you get into the park. Another great way to take in Yellowstone is on foot. There are more than 900 miles of hiking trails, and this three-mile hike up to the summit of Mount Washburn is a great way to spot wildlife. We've spotted a bison right down there. These guys are kind of dangerous. You do not want to get too close to them. Give them a space. And that's good advice for any animal you might encounter. So we're walking up the trail, and we spot these huge grizzly tracks. Look Holy at this. Cow. Ooh. Oh, man. These are fresh, too. These are definitely grizzly bear tracks. Grizzlies have a boxier-shaped claw. The black bear has more of a rounded cat-like claw. About 300 to 500 grizzlies live in Yellowstone, so it's a good idea to always make a lot of noise. Hey, bear! Hey, bear! If a bear hears you coming, it'll try to avoid you, but carry bear spray just in case. This is great. Wow. Oh man, look at this view. Beautiful. Another it's way amazing. to experience Yellowstone is one of the simplest. Just drive. Oh my gosh, <laughs> is that a big animal? Bigfoot. Driving down the road and right in front of us. It's like marathon. A huge bison. <laughs> it's not just a way to get around. It's part of the adventure and a route we really love passes through Hayden Valley along the Yellowstone River. Okay, we've got some elk that are right yeah. by us right there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Oh. Right now it's rutting Look at season. That. We have three bull elk. So what that tells me, you've got three guys with three sets of horns. <laughs> they're they're clashing. Yeah. A bit. <laughs> yeah. 
this is one of the things that is just so spectacular about Yellowstone is the fact that you can drive through this park and you will see tons of wildlife. Another awesome drive is on the north end of the park. We're heading into Lamar Valley. This is my favorite part of Yellowstone National Park. This place has been referred to as the Serengeti of North America. This is why. Literally, there are bison everywhere. There's hundreds, maybe thousands, right in eyesight from where we're standing. Yellowstone is known as the land of the roaming bison because they are not controlled here at all. They're not corralled, and they're just left to roam free. This place is so, so special. I'm telling you, I've been here probably 15 to 20 times, no joke, and this never gets old. Lamar Valley is also home to wolves. While you might see one from the road, you'll probably have better luck on a guided wolf watching trip. So let's just take these right over here and then I'll show you how to set them up. Okay. Our first stop is an overlook where a wolf pack was hunting the day before. And Carolyn has brought the good stuff. Massive telescopes that get you up close from 10 miles out. We're not having any luck spotting the wolf pack with the scopes. So we're moving into the valley. The hills up here are a really good place to look. Cool day like this, even middle of the day, something could still be out. I'm scanning like a madman. I see snow. I see something moving, but it's way back. I, I don't want to see snow, guys, really just well. just so you know right now. I do see it. It is a wolf. It totally is. That is so cool. Oh, I see him. Really you see him? I thought we were going to get him, too. That's crazy. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Moving on to number six, Man. top ten for Yellowstone. Be sure to stop at the West Up Geyser Basin on the shore of Yellowstone Lake. They said they could hear that. I love walking on the boardwalk here. It's almost like it's a path into another reality because these geyser basins are just so crazy. And the boardwalk just gives you that perfect little path right into the heart of the fire, so to speak. You've got the geysers bubbling. You've got the steam just shooting up into the air. And the crust, the weird colors of the earth, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. And one feature that stands out as a one of a kind. I've never seen anything like this before. Fishing cone is a geothermal feature right in Yellowstone Lake, which is crazy because I have to imagine this water is pretty cold, but right in the center of that cone, it is hot. In fact, it's boiling. You can see it right now. Yeah, this geothermal feature has got a really interesting backstory. Early settlers in this area, they would fish right here. And when they caught a trout, they wouldn't even take it off the line. They'd plop it right into that feature. Wow. Oh. Dinner is served just like that. Now, what's important to remember is this is an active geyser. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to I cook think it fish cooked it anything. for you. I mean, this thing could shoot up into the air at any time. <laughs> so it's cool to be able to sit here, look at it, and, and sort of take in that history while also looking out at just this incredible view. In the midst of all this steam and crustiness, there's a Godessee hot spring, 53 feet deep and Caribbean blue. So this right here is called the Abyss Pool because it is known to be the deepest pool here in Yellowstone. It sort of funnels down to the deepest point right at the center, but you can't really see the bottom. It just gets dark. It almost seems as if there is no ending. It just keeps going and going straight to the center of the earth. <laughs> that water, that's incredibly hot. How scientists go about measuring these things is beyond me. At number four, it's not Yellowstone's most famous geyser, but it is the world's tallest. Steamboat geyser in the Norris Geyser Basin can send water up to 300 yeah, feet yeah. in the air. Sometimes it goes months without erupting. But in 2019, it set a record with 47 eruptions. A lot of first time visitors to Yellowstone are surprised to learn that there is a Grand Canyon in the park. It's next on our list and a must see. Oh yeah, this is our view. Wow. That's it, dude. Look at that. Oh man. Yellowstone's Grand Canyon is about 20 miles long and 1,200 feet deep at its lowest point. I've been coming to this very location since I was eight years old. This thing is majestic. One thing I wanna do though is work our way somehow down closer to the falls. In the early 1900s, Uncle Tom's Trail used to be a series of sketchy steps and rope ladders. But now it's a 300 step steel staircase that leads down to the lower falls. 
That oh. is spectacular. That is a giant waterfall. The Lower Falls is twice the height of Niagara Falls. The Yellowstone River is responsible for creating this natural wonder. Wow. Woo. Wow. That is awesome. Next up at number two, it's got to be the most famous geyser in the world and the most reliable. Old Faithful erupts every 45 to 90 minutes, and most people watch from the ground level just outside of Old Faithful Land. But you can take a trail to see it from above. We it's made insane. it. This is the spot. Let me see. I'd like to and see. Now, our number one pick in Yellowstone. It's the rainbow colored Grand Prismatic Spring, the most photographed, most beautiful mm. feature in the entire park. Just recently, they put in this new trail that gives you an overview of the springs. Wow. <laughs> That's gorgeous. That's incredible. All the colors come from bacteria. The only thing that can thrive in smoking hot water is 189 degrees. Each different color is a different water temperature. This makes you feel like you were on a- Of course we're water. gonna get an ad. Look at that. And Got, that gotta love YouTube, too. guys. <laughs> I apologize for this. Oh my! <laughs> oh, yeah! Ooh, we need to know about where we go. Was that planned? Ooh! Yeah, <laughs> it's a bra. Oh We're back to Yellowstone for a couple more minutes. My apologies. I can't control YouTube at all. I see your hat. You're making sure we're. You're making sure we're awake. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, boy. And of course, now it's over with. So we had to give you a here advertisement to end this. Now, golly, golly, golly. Oh, John. <laughs> oh, embarrassing, John. Right, you were looking at me. You know, we, we did this and, uh, you know, I... I do apologize to everyone on that, but uh, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, where's like a Food Network ad when you need it? You know? We didn't see anything. They had it covered. Oh, good, <laughs> good, good, good. They did. <laughs> Just so, want to make sure the guys are awake. Yeah. Uh, how, how did, did that, that video, video go besides the ending for everybody? Good. It was guys. Nice. Wow. Like right to go there. You know, Tom, you're, you're the vacation guy. You're the trip guy. What did you think? The man, the audio came in and out on it. Yeah, that was the only thing that was bad about it. Yeah. But the picture's nice. Yeah. 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 So, so we're obviously having audio issues and you know, one of the hopes that I have is once I can connect hard into the network here at the office, you know, that might help. Um, the other thing that I can't control is, you know, when the internet is at everyone's home. So, but um, yeah, that, that's what we have. Um, it, it's 1036, that, a lot quicker than I anticipated. But um, anyone else have any other ideas what we want to do going forward? I mean, different sharing and whatnot. Mr. Newell, you want to give any updates for people on, if, if there is any? We just have a legislative meeting this Thursday. Um, most of the resolutions are pretty boilerplate, uh, moving money from one fund to another, accepting grants. Uh, nothing on the front burner that's too controversial at this point. Thank you. Oh, not a problem, thank you. Um, you know, this is your guys' opportunity. You wanna brainstorm? Did you like seeing Yellowstone? Do you wanna see something else? A trip to Hawaii. Hawaii. I'm, yes, I'm, I'm writing yeah. these ideas down. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one because I'll probably never get there. So. Oh, yes. <laughs> I actually I just had one of my uh, Facebook, Facebook friends, friends move there. there. Oh. Wow. Oh. You better yeah. go visit. So I guess it's a good place to quarantine, right? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect.
you don't hear much about Never that. Never be able to come back home. <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, here at the office, you know, we're still giving out farmer's market coupons. Um, we will be at the Portland Farmer's Market. Uh, I'm just grabbing the calendar to make sure get the right day. Tuesday the 28th in the morning Are you done? from 9 to 11. So um, the Farmer's Market coupons, it's a $20 coupon book that uh, does have some requirements, but um, you veggie soup? And, uh, and requirements in terms of income. But um, for the most part, if you're 60 and older, you can grab a coupon book. It's free from the state and the USDA. $20 for fresh fruits and veggies. Somebody needs to mute their. Yeah, other voice coming in. Hey, Tom, have Peg stick her head in so we can see her. Yeah, I want to. They want you to stick your head in, Peg, so they can see you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there she Hi, is. Peg. Good morning, Peg. Hi, Peg. Nice to see She's you. Got her box of I just went and got my my uh my box of stuff over in Virgil. <laughs> they had it nice to see everybody. <laughs> they only gave me today, right? What? Just meat. No, I got butter and cheese too. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds uh, good. I didn't know that Portland was doing it. Usually it's been every other week. So yeah, that's week every other Portland week. Did yeah. it, so. so Cortland's not doing it today, correct? Yes, they no, did. Yes, they are. Only meat. The only, oh, only really? Meat. Oh. Only meat and cheese and butter. Okay. Oh, that's Good. What time is it today? 10.15 to 11.15 and 9 to 10. Wow. My husband went at the 9 o'clock. Last time it was 11.15 to 12.15. It's 10, 11. Is it at the center? Really I'm looking at this. <laughs> they didn't put it on the site, Matt, this week. Oh, they did it? No. It's not on the Carlin High School site. Yeah, that, that's what I was just kind of looking up. It's like, I didn't know. I've been trying to pay attention because this is one of the things you guys wanted. But um, let's see, Wednesday, July. I'll be darned. I'll be darned, you know. I'm. Because I went on this morning. I went on to check the times. Yeah, 10, 15 Barry, to 11, 15, 9 to 10. Oh. Yeah. Um, that, that was kind of uh, unexpected because usually they do this every two weeks. Yeah. And I know down, you know, Marathon Cincy Way, you know, they're, they're doing it this week. So they've been doing it about every week in Cortland. Okay. So I'm definitely going to pay more attention to this. No, meat was just this week. Yep. But it's still, it's, yep, a giveaway. All right, well, I missed it, so next time. Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoy the fresh veggies and everything, too. Me, too. Yeah, when we can so get it. I. Um, we're just fortunate that through this whole pandemic that, you know, the, you know, the governments, everyone's been working together to keep the CNY food bank going, you know, and pushing it out to those, to everybody, to everybody. But uh, that, that, that's pretty good. So uh, let, let's keep the conversation going. Anyone gonna be doing anything exciting coming up besides sitting at home? Right. <laughs> Well, I was going to travel to Virginia, and now they've added them to the list, so now we can't go. Is it all of Virginia? Well, uh, Maryland and Virginia, if you go there, you got to quarantine for right. 15 or 14 days when you get back. Mm -hmm. And it ain't worth it, because my son-in-law is an essential. He just had surgery, so they don't need to get the virus. 
Yeah. And there's like 31 states right now. Yeah. And that quarantine is. Per DMV. Even the president came on to say that uh, we're at, you know, this is going to get worse before it gets better. Yeah. So. Yeah. They're going to open their DMV August 3rd because it's been closed. They haven't had plexiglass. Oh. They got plexiglass because they had a thing on. Yeah, it was in the paper. Not in Virginia. They have four hundred. Oh, oh, Virginia. Virginia. I thought we were in Cortland. <laughs> I thought we were in Cortland. You're in Virginia, Bonnie. We're no, we're not. <laughs> she works in Virginia. She can't return to work till August third, okay. and they've been paying her. And she's been traveling about twenty miles from home to work at a DMV okay, away from home. Mm. Yeah. Well, she works for DMV now. Excellent. So we know Bonnie's going to Hawaii next week. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to see. I'm going to see. an echo with you, Matt. Yeah. Okay. We'll stay and be quarantined. Bye. Okay. <laughs> we're going to New we're going to Skinny Atlas Lake for the weekend instead of New Hampshire for or for instead of North Carolina for a week. Okay. In North oh, wow. Carolina, where we were going, you had to stay 30 days at this place. First of all, I couldn't do that. And then we would have had to quarantine for 14 days when we got back home. Wow. Then they canceled the whole trip. So Skinny Atlas right. Lake works. That'll be nice. My great grandson said, I just need a vacation. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I, I know for me, we were planning an August trip, you know, my wife, daughter, and I. Um, my wife had a union down to Georgia, down to Savannah. Savannah has oh. been one of those places that I always wanted to visit. I mean, I was even looking up because mm -hmm. I wanted to go to Paula Dean's restaurant oh, so bad. East again. <laughs> that, uh, you know, I'm looking up when we could reserve at, you know, Lady and Sons and... You know, we go to Savannah for a week and then head down. You know, my wife has family just north of Orlando and go spend time down there. But we canceled that first week of June. Well, Savannah's a beautiful spot if you ever can get down there. I'd love it's to. 2022, they rescheduled. Yeah. <laughs> right? You can do a YouTube video of it. <laughs> we, can, we can do whatever you want. <laughs> hey Tom, we could put that on our trip list for 2022, and Matt could go with us. Oh, that's an idea. Yeah, sure. Late August, I got to make sure my wife's deadlines is there. Um, the more important thing, because you know, I am a, a shopper as well. Her union pays for um, her trip down there, so like all the gas and hotel, so we don't have to do any of that in terms of our budgeting. Oh, that's good. Uh -huh. We don't have to pay for gas, but we got to pay for the hotel. And, and, yeah, yeah, I oh, want to have the company on that, so. right? <laughs> we kind of pay for that, though. With the bus. Bonnie, that was quite a little action down there in Frostproof the other day, huh? Yeah, right around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and it is out in the orange trees. It's a desolate place where they were. Yeah, that was not good. What happened? Uh, not that. I was just Mass listening. A few murders. A couple murders yeah, yeah. three guys. Yeah. They were just out going to go fishing. These three guys were going fishing, and they were ambushed and all killed. Oof. Oof. So That's a where rough. was that? Frostproof, Florida, right near where we are. We're right just a few miles from there. That's we're about an hour south of Orlando, and it's right Lake Wales, Frostproof, and right on twenty-seven. Yep. You know, right where that little store that the dad went to, but yeah. But you're still down there, Bonnie? No, we're home now. We got oh. home the end of May. 
So I don't know when we'll go back, but. <laughs> <laughs> it is a question this year, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, and the park does trips. So they were planning a trip to Savannah and take the railroad. Oh, man. Right. And of course, that's not that far from where we are. So I don't know if that'll be or not, but. Tom, can you go to Florida? I mean, you got to stay there for. Well, if we go, we'll stay for four months, but. <laughs> I don't know what, I, I, my thought is, do I want to stay quarantined in New York and freeze, or do I want to go to Florida and stay quarantined and be warm? That's right, Tom. Yep. <laughs> oh, gee, that's a hard decision. <laughs> Looking out at the sun, not the not the snow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you doing anything exciting this weekend, John? It's good to be up here too. Yes. No, it is. Well, I want to go visit Tom, but I don't know how I'm going to get there because I'm not I'm not about flying. <laughs> So, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. We got time. Oh, I, I want to say I'm working on the newsletters. I got them right here in the other room. I'm sorting them by zip code. So the Meals on Wheels drivers, for anyone that volunteered, we'll yes. be delivering them either Thursday, Friday, or Monday, okay? Okay. Okay, and, thank you. you know, Cindy's off today, but the newsletters are copied. As I said, I'm just switching those around uh, okay. for thank you. zip code. So, so to Matt, make do we it know what day you're possible. coming so we don't want to be out, out and about and then not be home? And just think, you'll be the first ones with your hands on the newsletter to see what's out there. <laughs> Inside knowledge. So you'll let us know what day, will she let us know what day they're yeah, coming? Cindy, yeah, Cindy is going to, you know, she has everything set, um, but we're just going to wait. She's off today. That's why she's not coming or she's not here on the chat with us. So, but uh, yes, we'll let you know when they're coming. Um, it's going to be based on the Meals on Wheels, their driver schedule. So he froze. Yep. Hopefully I was doing the Olay when He's I froze, right? Florida. It keeps freezing. <laughs> there he comes. There we go. Oh. So, uh, You're still there, Matt? I'm still here. You're still there, John. Oh, you doing anything exciting besides breaking the car? Hey, bro, that look. That's a nice facial expression he's got. Yeah, at least yeah. he froze up with a smile. <laughs> there. I have to see this. That's hilarious. What's that? That's hilarious. Oh. All right. Am I back? <laughs> Where's this facial expression? You did it again. Hey, you know, <laughs> I think he does it on purpose. I really don't. Coming and going all the time. <laughs> I really don't. Hey, you know, I could always go to my cell phone here to chat because they do have that on a little bit. Of okay. Gee, his lips move. We lost the cell it. phone now. <laughs> <laughs> cell phone froze up now. <laughs> So that being said, is this working? <laughs> it is. Right now. No. All right. So I'm going to look into Hawaii for next week. It was. Yeah. I'm going to look into Hawaii for next week if we're all here. Um, and we can go from there. I will find, does anyone have any agency questions or somebody they want to see from the agency? I want to break everything down. Just curious. You know, we have different staff here. Do you miss a certain staff? You want to say hi to them? We can try to jump in with that and, you know, give you a little bit of information that way too. Where's Pia at? Pia is working on the accounting. She's one of our accountants now. 
Now, um, Pia used to do RSVP. Uh oh. What happened to Sue? Sue Soprano, Sue Preston. Preston. Okay, so Sue Preston's been working throughout. She's been in the kitchen, so she has been helping make the meals on wheels deliveries. Well, not the deliveries, the food to help get it okay. all organized and out there. Oh, good. So she, Sue, Sue's been working hard through the whole process. Good. Is Alice still down there too? Yep, Alice is still down here. Um, there's just different, like I said, it's just a little different. Um, <clears throat> There'll be a lot of different changes coming through with some staffing here soon. You know, like with Cindy retiring, they found, you know, somebody for her position. Um, just up and moving around, so. Always changes, but changes are constant. Hey, Mary Lee, this was your first Zoom chat with us. How'd it go? All in all, it went well. I mean, there's a few quirks you need to work through, which you already know that. But I think it's great that we can see everybody and get together. That that's good. Yeah, my my quirks again, I feel, are a lot of the internet stability. Why I freeze here and there. <laughs> well, when anything's new, it takes time to work yeah. out all the details. And and I do different things in the background as you guys are here chatting and whatnot, and I might be quiet. I'm learning like different features and stuff. So um, eventually what I'd love to see, like say we get four or five people and if we can arrange a card game where you can show your card or do something there, I can send you to your own room. So you can, you know, play your card game, you know, and other people want to talk about something else, we can push you to another room. So there's different options with Zoom here that we can do. Um, but yeah, uh, Bonnie Smith mentioned Hawaii. So if you guys are okay with that, I'll try to find some sort of 10 to 15 minute window, you know, as we visit Hawaii next week. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. I'm going to tell you, uh, yep. I was going to tell you, I haven't been sent to my room in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's hey, Nancy, a tell Ron minute. to come in and say hi. We haven't seen Ron today. What's he doing? Cooking? <laughs> Here he comes. Hi, Ron. Hello, Ron. Good morning, Ron. Are you mm -hmm. making cookies? Yeah, they, they're on okay, here. Hey, there we go. Uh, <laughs> oh, Tom. Oh. Are you making cookies? Oh, no, I'm not making cookies, no. He's making his beans, probably. <laughs> I might make some chicken noodle soup, maybe. Oh, there you go. What time? <laughs> <laughs> what time? Yeah. I know I haven't started it yet. So. Oh. Got to watch Nancy. She's always trying to come to dinner. <laughs> I'm not, this one. <laughs> I'm not a cook, that's for sure. <laughs> We're it's working good. on it. <laughs> so does anybody have a garden? No, I got oh. a garden. Oh. My children do, so I'm good to go. Awesome. Got a question, uh, Matt. What's that, John? Too much work for the rabbits to eat. <laughs> yeah. That's right. My son's got one. We just picked up some uh, zucchini squash. So I got to get my zucchini squash recipes out. Let's see what I can do with it. <laughs> do you ever have zucchini cake? Yeah. Zucchini cake and uh, bread and cupcakes and <laughs> casseroles. <laughs> and <laughs> I think I got it. I think I got enough zucchini for all of them. <laughs> it grows well around here. It grows fast too. <laughs> it, it does. Matt, Matt. Yeah, John. I got a question for you. When yep. the newsletters uh, came out, 
uh, Pia was the one that always sent one email to to whoever wanted it. Yep. Is, she, is that still going to happen? So, like, when for folding or whatnot, or no, for for their own newsletter. Okay, so yeah, when, RSVP doesn't exist anymore, so there won't be an RSVP newsletter. Um, do you get an email from Cindy Stout at all? Yeah. Okay, so yes, right now Cindy has taken over that component to the email for the regular newsletter. But um, yeah, I, I do so. send out. But they always send us an email because what we get to fold, there's names and addresses on them. Yep. So they sent, we could sign up for online. They would send it to our email. Yeah, so newsletter. actually I'm the one that does the email newsletter. But uh, P so, is gone, so yep. I was wondering if that was still going on. Yeah, so what I do is when we get the newsletter to get pushed out, I create a link on the county website for our office, and then I send an email out to our newsletter group. So everyone that signs up to go green goes on that email list. So when you sign up to go green, it drops down the paper newsletter, but we send it and you know post it online as a PDF document. Yeah, you, you can actually go online right now. Um, we have a publications tab. And if you search the Cortland County Area again. Agency on Aging. Yep. And uh, that on the publications, Sorry, that should have a bunch of different <laughs> newsletters and articles that we write in the Cortland Standard as, as specialists, all that fun stuff. That's one of the things I did when I was home as I created that tab. You know, we never really had that before. You know, just as a nice little archive of information. So, um, that being said, I probably froze up again. You did. <laughs> we missed most of what you said just now. Okay. So, um, the newsletter will You're be on again. the county website. But uh, if you have any questions you want, you know, shoot me an email. I can send you the publications. If you go to a, a Cortland County Area Agency on Aging, click the link, click the publications tab. You can check out the archive of information that we put up there. Okay. Thank okay. you. Um, that being said, it is now 1101. Anyone have any final thoughts or comments? Okay. Thank you guys and uh, invite your friends again and we'll see you next Wednesday at 10 a.m. Okay. Thanks for the tour. We'll see you next week. All right. Goodbye, Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Hey. Thank you. Enjoy. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.